what we're looking at is whether or not the green or the red works better in different lighting situations. We've got a couple of different reflex sites by Hollow Sun here. Actually, it's the same model, except one is a green dot and one is a red dot. The 507C GR X2 on this gun, and we have the 507C X2 on this one with just a red dot. The only designation difference is the GR on this gun give you a green dot versus the standard red dot on this one. Both of them have the reticles that will change. You have just the dot, you have the dot with the circle around it, and then you just have the circle. So you can use any of the three reticles. What we're gonna be using today is just the red dot or the green dot without the circle around it. The typical theory that you hear is that it's easier to see a green dot in bright sunlight. These are both 20 gauge shotguns, so a friend of mine that I'm cleaning these for, they use them for turkey hunting. We'll start with the red one. I'm gonna take the, the sight all the way down. Okay, so that's the lowest lighting available on this one. And then for both of them, I'm gonna take them down to zero and then come back up to like number six on the brightness setting. And then we'll look at both of them to see how that how it works. So let's take this one back up to six. On the Holosun 507s, you've got the two buttons here. The minus button, of course, makes it dimmer and the plus makes it brighter. Get the green one to the same light setting. So this is the red dot. In all the different lighting situations that we got here, we've got some darker wooded area up there. I've got the berm in the back, red dirt and got some dead leaves on it. So it's just kind of a reddish brown color. And then we got more woods down here and got a little bit brighter area down there. And then we're gonna walk out here in the, more in the sun here in a little bit. Both of these guns are unloaded and I've got the, the breech open on both of them. So with the red, in the lighting situations that I've got here, the red is still very easy to pick up. Even with the little bit brighter area down there where we're uh, just got hay on the ground where we're redoing the yard. Uh, but against most of the color situations that I've got here, the, the number six setting on the red, still very easy to see. I do have a slight astigmatism, but the red dot is still clear on the hollow sun. So in this lighting situation, the red is, is still pretty easy to see. So let's check out the green. On the same light intensity, As far as number six, the green looks a little bit brighter to start with, but when I put it up to my shoulder and look around the yard, the green does seem to be a little bit easier to see because it, it stands out a little bit more from the background. Hunting in the summertime, and you got green leaves everywhere and there's a lot of green, the red might be easier to pick up against the green background. But the, uh, the green is a different sh shade of green than your normal green for leaves and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a lot brighter, more fluorescent green, but it does stand out a little bit better against most of the backgrounds that I'm looking at it uh, through right now with all the the different foliage and everything around here. So, so far it looks like the green is a little bit better as far as being able to see it. 
So let's go out in the yard where I'm in, in a little bit more light rather than in a darkened area right here and see if it makes a difference. We've got a lot of hay out here to try to get the grass to start growing. So we've got a lot of light background right here that's going to reflect the light more. Now the number six on the red, when I'm standing in bright sunlight, does seem to be dimmer and it's not as easy to see. Now if I get back over into the, the darker foliage, I can pick it back up. But in the lighter colored backgrounds, it washes out a little bit. Now if we go up, try to find some blue sky or the white clouds, the red seems to, you can't see it as well as I did when I was standing in a darker light. Against the dark backgrounds, the red stands out, but once you get into lighter colored background, or if you've got a lot more light, and if the sun ever comes back out, then it's gonna make a difference. Against the lighter color backgrounds, the number six washes out a little bit. Now, if I go up to a brighter setting, then the red is fine. I can see it against the light background and everything works good. Okay, so the green on the number six, still seems to be a little bit brighter than the red and it is just a little bit easier to pick up in whatever lighting situation you happen to be in. If we're looking at blue sky and we got some really white clouds up there now with the sun a little bit behind them, the number six on the green does tend to wash out in a little bit of in the, um, the white. I can still see the dot on the number six, but it doesn't stand out as much as it does in the darker background. So on a real white background, the, the green dot goes away a little bit. So let's, let's look at the red. Back in the red, back off to the number six setting. Yeah, and with the lighter background at the number six, the red pretty much disappears. Uh, so let me bump it back up to like the nine. Now, once you increase the intensity, again, it, it would work good. So to get the same relative amount of brightness on the dot from the red to the green, with the green being on the six setting, I could still see it up in the brighter clouds and everything. The red pretty much washed out, so I had to bump the red up to the nine setting to be able to see it well enough to be able to pick up the dot without having to really search for it when I'm moving the gun around. So there's a two or three intensity difference on the lighting as far as the way the, uh, the dots look to me. The green looks like it's two or three settings brighter, even if when it's on the same intensity setting as the red does. The sun finally cooperated and we got bright sun out here. So let's see if me standing in bright sun makes a difference. So this is the green with the, the setting at number six. And it, Still seems to, I can pick it up fine, especially when I get back up into the, the darker foliage. The green works good. With the red dot here, we're meeting a little bit brighter sun. Again, in the dark areas, I can still see the red fine. When I get into the lighter colors, tends to wash out a little bit more. It makes it a little bit 
harder to see the red in the lighter colors in the bright sun, but if you bump up the intensity, then the red still works fine. The green in all the different lighting situations that we were running it through does seem to be a little bit brighter, easier to pick up against the different backgrounds than the red does at the same setting intensity. If you bump the red up a little bit more in the intensity, then you can see it against the lighter backgrounds while you're in a brighter light than if you were in more shade in far as your shooting position. With the Holosun 507Cs, V2s, green looks a little bit brighter to me than the red does. So check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com, like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.